We all know that Microsoft has been producing so many software applications for the last four and a half decades. But do you know what is the most widely used application? I was very curious to find this answer. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Please stay tuned for the answer at the end of this video. By the end of this video, you will be able to learn what is XMatch and how to use it with full potential. This video has multiple sections and you can find the links below in the description to jump into a specific section. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. What is XMatch? XMatch function is advanced version of match function we already have in Excel. XMatch function searches for a given item in the list of cells or in an array and returns the relative position of that item. For example, if you want to find the position of locks in this list of items, then we can use XMatch. Then XMatch returns what is the position of locks in this list. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So XMatch returns 6. Let's see this in action. So product is locks equal to X match hit tab. The first argument is lookup value. This is nothing but what we are trying to find. In this case, locks. So select this cell, comma. The second argument is lookup array. This is nothing but list of value in which we want to find out locks. So I select all this list of values and close my X match parenthesis hit enter as you see here now it returned 6 as the position of locks in this list this can be done with simple match function as well but the advantage of X match function lies in its extra arguments which we will discuss in the next section let's go back to our previous example here if you look at the formula, we have covered first two arguments. But if you look at the third argument, which is match mode, it gives four options. By default is zero, that is exact match. That means it try to find exact match of this product in this list of product. If it doesn't find the given product, then it will throw an error. The second argument is exact match or next smaller item. That means it tries to find this lookup value in the array and if it does not find then it try to return the next smaller item. For example, let's find what is the position of thousand dollars in this list of sales. When I try to find position of thousand dollars, it gave me the index of seven. That is correct. But what if I type something called one thousand two dollars? It throws an error. In this case, you can just simply use the third argument, let and say exact match or next small item, and hit enter. Even now, it is returning index of seven because X match try to find thousand two dollars or what is the next lesser item in that list which is obvious one thousand dollars so it returned one thousand dollars position if we use the argument of plus one which is third here it does the opposite that means it try to find thousand two dollars if thousand two dollars doesn't exist it, then it tries to find what is the next bigger item here so it is throwing index of 13 that is eighteen hundred dollars that means the next large item after one thousand two dollars is eighteen hundred dollars this is where x match differs a little bit from match function in match function the list of value needs to be in order either ascending or descending but here x match doesn't care that is the advantage of X match function. The final match mode option is wildcard match. 
This is usually useful when you don't know full name or full lookup value. If you go to this example, if we do not know the full name of logs, you can simply use wildcard and go here and use number two as match mode which is wildcard match and hit enter here we have two wildcards one is question mark and one is asterisk if we know the exact number of characters you are missing in the lookup value name then you can use question mark but if i don't know how many characters i am missing then in that case it's best to use asterisk Let's look at the final argument of X match, which is nothing but search mode. There are often cases where the item we are trying to find in the list might have multiple entries. So not every time you want to find the first occurrence of the item, sometimes you want to find last occurrence as well. That's when the search mode helpful. For example, if you look at here in this list, locks is twice in this list the position of 6 as well as the position of 14 so we can use search mode argument to find last occurrence of locks here so click on this function hit comma and you can give minus 1 as search mode when you give minus 1 it searches from the bottom of the list hit enter now as soon as you hit enter it gave me the value of 14 because this is the last occurrence of this item within this list. If you use plus one, it always starts searching from the beginning of the list. In this case, it gives you six. That's the extra advantage in Xmatch when you compare with match function. As we have seen so far, Xmatch has some cool advantages over match function. Going back to question I asked at the beginning of this video, what is the Microsoft product that being used most widely? Answer to that question is Microsoft Word. And the next, the list is Excel, then Outlook, and then PowerPoint. You can also find link to the Excel document used in this video on the description. If you like this video, please hit thumb icon. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put me in the comment section. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.